Welcome back. Today I've got a build guide for Axed and I'll be going over all the best skill point allocations and all the best gear for him as well. Subscribe for more videos like this. Also if there are any other videos you guys would like to see just comment down below. Alright let's jump into the build. So we have the peak opener which does uh, shock damage. It's practically just a shock version of the curb blaster. It's quite a good weapon to use. And we have the uh, Flame Toothpick. This is great paired with the uh, Mouthwash Relic. And then we have the Nasty Cur Blaster, which is the explosive version of the Peak Opener. And then the uh, last Assault Rifle that I have is a Nasty Ogre. It's so quite a rare weapon to get. Wouldn't recommend farming it, but if you can get it, then yeah, be sure to get it. Alright, then we have the best shield in the game, which is the B-Shield, gives you extra damage. We have the Legendary Soldier Class mod, which I quite like running. And then a Shock Stormfront Grenade. I don't think this is in the base game, I'm pretty sure it's a modded grenade, but I'm not 100% on that. But if you can find one of these from someone, definitely worth picking up. Phenomenal grenade. And then for the relic, we have 42% explosive damage, elemental relic, which increases the damage of explosive grenades or any weapons that do explosive damage like the ogre or curb blaster. Alright. So for the different types, we have a unkept herald. For the pistols and the shotguns, we have a practical conference call, all three elements. We have the rustler's hydro. This is for reflecting bullets uh, from Hyperius with the antagonist shield back to him and then back to you and then you end up doing a massive amount of damage. Um, you'll have to look at a video on that for further explanation of that. And then in the submachine guns we have the baby maker which is just a throwable weapon which I quite like using all elements as well. You can also pick up the um, base damage one, the normal damage one, um, and there's the rainbow rarity one as well, which I think is quite a good throwable one, I don't really like the pearl one though, the um, pearl ones, yeah, you can find out um, by frying the rip and I reckon it's not that great, alright, and then we have a slagger which just slags enemies, which is real good as well, Second best slag gun in the game. First best is the uh, Moxie pistol. I forgot what it's called, but I have it in my stash. and go over that later. And then with the snipers, I have the Gromkey Lyuda. All three elements. You can also use the slag one if you want as well. Then the Sincero, which penetrates through shields and attacks people's health. And you can also knock the head off Pyro Pete as well with him and kill the chieftain with it as well in the veracitous fight and there's also a blue sniper called the trespasser that you can use but i just prefer the orange rarity they do the same thing and then for the last snipers we have the barking pimpernel pretty much these are the two best snipers in the game the pimpernel and the lyota all right and then then the items we have a mouthwash increases assault rifle damage by 47.5% and increases the damage of toothpick so both of these are quite good paired together does more damage than the um, bones of the ancients but the only downfall is is you don't get the 51% cooldown rate so you want all three of these as well which you get from the loot midgets and then you want a sheriff's badge which increases pistol damage pistol fire rate and fight for your lifetime and then you also want the Deputy's Badge, which increases shotgun damage and reload speed. Alright, for class mods, I have the Legendary Pointman, Legendary Engineer, and I don't have the Legendary Ranger. You can run that, but I prefer all of these other class mods over that. I just think these three are a lot better, but you can use that as well. I just don't have it. Then we have the Master Grenadier, which 
gives you way more grenades. You can pretty much just throw like 30 grenades instead of the normal 10 with any of the other Vault Hunters or whatever it is. Um, or how, however much grenades you get. Um, yeah, this is quite a fun build to do, even running through like normal or true Vault Hunter mode. Just throwing grenades around everywhere. And then we have the Impact Rifleman, which increases the assault rifle damage and magazine which you can pair this if you want with any of these but I still prefer the legendary soldier because it pretty much does the same amount of damage like 42% plus the fire rate and that's 51% it's pretty much the same because of the fire rate increase but yeah I got that anyway then for the grenade mods have a crossfire which you can get a low level one so it doesn't damage you the slags enemies then we have the fastball in all elements a quasar chain lightning you can pair this with the grog nozzle to heal yourself um, so it's quite good and then a magic missile for slagging enemies as well then in the shields categories we have a antagonist which you can pair this with the hydra to do that uh, sort of ricochet damage with the hydra this is a really great shield has one of the highest capacity um, shields in the game then we have the evolution which has a high elemental resistance a blockade which has the highest capacity in the game i think it might be one of the like the turtle one or something but they're really crap to use like i would just use this over those ones not a hundred percent sure but yeah that's the highest best shield in the game so all of these are the best shields and it also gives you moderate damage resistance when not fully charged and major damage resistance when fully charged and we have a 94 percent sham quite rare to get the 94 percent but yeah if you can get it or get someone to do it definitely grab this you can also regenerate rocket ammo with this as well with the logan's gun and then we have a inflammable beat shield for the immunity to burn damage and you want to get the corrosive one as well um these are for certain boss fights and stuff so you're immune to the uh different types of damage yeah, that's what's in my inventory. And then for the other weapons, we have all three interfaces, Boss Becker, all three Practical Butchers, a Logan's Run for regenerating rocket ammo. We have the three Norfleets. You can also use the Slag on as well. A Butter Moon for rocket jumping. The three Sandhawks, which are pretty certain it's the best SMG in the game I reckon it is someone else reckons else something else then cool and then we have the lady fists all elements the grog nozzle which is the best lag gun in the game and it heals you and yeah that's it for the guns and if we go over to the skill points here's the skill tree here there's a couple of skills I'll go over that you can use just in case someone in the comments has something to say um, but yeah if you want to change one or two skills then go ahead but I'm pretty sure this is pretty much the best skill point allocation you can get alright so we'll start in the left tree we have sentry at 4 and then it goes to 9 with the class mod we have ready which increases your reload speed by 80 percent and that's on plus five and then it equates to 10 with the class mod we have willing which increases your shield recharge rate and your shield recharge delay then we have scorch earth which gives you rockets on your turret onslaught which increases gun damage and movement speed after you kill an enemy Grenadier, this increases your grenade capacity, plus 5. This will increase with the Master Grenadier um, class mod for that grenade build. And then we have Double Up, which um, gives you a second gun on your turret, and it slags enemies as I 100% want this. Wouldn't use this. Like, you can use the Rough Rider, 
which is another great shield to use, but the B shield overall gives you more damage than pairing the Rough Rider in this one. So wouldn't get this. Wouldn't get this one either because this actually takes away the ability to get one of the other skills in one of the other trees as well. And accuracy of your Saber Turret is... This is one of the skills where you can get it, but I just don't use it. Anyways, we have Impact, which increases your gun damage and melee damage quite a bit. I have one point into Expertise with the class mod. It goes to plus six. And we have Metal Storm, which is a kill skill that increases your fire rate and recoil reduction by a lot. Battlefront um, increases your gun damage, melee damage, and grenade damage while your turrets are up. Longblow means you can fling your turrets across the map pretty much wherever you want. I personally think this is worth it. So you don't just chuck them like five meters away from you. You can fling them on the walls and stuff with another skill in the right tree. Then we have Steady, which increases your recoil reduction, grenade damage, and rocket launcher damage. And I wouldn't use Overload, not really worth the extra 50% magazine size, who cares? And most guns on with Judy's calls, like most of the good guns are elemental. That's just a waste of your time as well, don't use that one. If you want to, cool, go ahead, but I think it's just a waste of points. If you actually look at all the guns, most of them, 90% of them are elemental. Alright, do or die, allows you to throw grenades while and fight for your life, absolutely want this, just in case you get down, you can throw one of those Stormfront grenades and bang it back up. Ranger, this is one you can get, I reckon, because extra 5% of everything is decent, but yeah, that's up to you, I don't use it, but... I'm not going to say don't use it, it's it's still good. You can swap something around if you want. It's good, but yeah, I just prefer other things. And I don't get the nuclear bars, just no. Nah. But if you want, then all good. <laughs> then we have Healthy, which increases your max health by 30%, 60% with the class mod. Definitely worth it. Uh, preparation, which increases your shield capacity and regenerates 4% of your max health per second while your shields are full. It's a really good skill to have. I like the max health regeneration per second, but then it sort of negates pressure. It's the only thing. So with pressure, this increases your reload speed and shield recharge delay based on how much health you have. The lower your health, the higher the bonus. So if you've got full shields of this, this is regenerating your health, which obviously is a good thing. This actually sort of negates getting that 70% reload speed, even though it still technically is worth getting this because you would just get a lower value of the percentage because it's up to 70%. Anyways, both skills are pretty good, worth getting it. Or you can switch two more points from this and put it into quick charge which I might actually do but that's up to you so quick charge is a killing skill that regenerates three percent of your max shields per second after killing an enemy so this can go up to five percent after killing an enemy per second for a short time so not sure what the seconds are it doesn't actually say how many seconds it is, it just says short time. So I'm assuming if you get five percent, it's gonna be like about fifteen percent after killing an enemy, which is worth it. But that's up to you. Then we have the Phalax Shield, which gives a protective shield over your turret. That's worth it. So your turrets don't die. We have maglock, so you can throw your turret wherever you want with the longbow turret skill. And stick it to walls and stuff. Why would you not want this? Absolutely. I want to fling my shirt everywhere. 
Then we have resourceful, increases action skill cooldown rate by 25%. You want this because this just gives you more turrets. More turrets equals more slagging enemies that you don't have to. More damage. Grit, this is one skill that you can get, but I just don't use. It negates the chance of going down, I'm pretty sure. And you can get it to 20% and then it goes to like 40% with the Pointman class mod, I'm pretty sure. But I just never use this and probably never will. But from reading what it does, it's it's worth it but i just prefer putting my points into other things then we have gemini 100 percent want this you want two saber turrets up at once two is always better than one double the damage double the slagging double everything and these two i wouldn't get increases your gun damage movement speed while in fight for your life like i don't really get down or i pretty much just get back up straight away so yeah if you die a lot or get down a lot considering it's op 10 or whatever then you can get this because this increases your damage and movement speed but most of the time in the game i'm not in fight for your life so not worth it for me but if you're not that great at games it could be worth it then we have status effect duration minus eight percent must go to like 40 or whatever and then maximum health don't really reckon this is worth it either but yeah it's really up to you yeah this is my build guide and these are all the weapons that i'll recommend as well all right like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one thank you very much